Praise the Lord, precious saints. Well, this very day, I'd like to do a very detailed deliverance prayer to repent and also renounce every legal right that the enemy may have in your life. Now, you might be saying, what is a legal right? A legal right or a legal ground is also known as a bill of rights, is something in our lives that has given an unclean spirit the permission or right to involve itself in our life, our body, or our mind, which is our soul. See, a good example of how a legal ground works is found according to Matthew 18, verses 23 to 25, where Jesus talks about unforgiveness. Jesus wraps up the story by saying that if we are forgiven, and then we are holding on to unforgiveness, tormentors are allowed access to us. See, things such as unforgiveness, unrepented sin, ungodly soul ties, they all give an legal right for the enemy to have his way. Maybe foolish spoken words or vows or curses or accursed things and so forth can give unclean spirits the right to hang around and to influence us. These things must be cleaned up in order for the person to experience lasting genuine freedom. Legal grounds can be cleaned up through repentance, renunciation, and breaking soul ties and deliverance. See, even physical possessions can give demons rights into our homes. So it is also important to destroy and or remove any accursed or ungodly items from our houses as well. So here is a brief look at what we're going to look at. We're going to look at unrepented sin. We're going to look at ungodly soul ties. We're going to look at foolish vows, any sort of cursed possessions, any spoken curses, any of these things we're going to pray against right now that we may see the breakthrough that we might receive. So I would encourage you to have handy before we start this is a plastic bucket a glass of water and possibly some tissues available because we're going to go down deep into the core of whatever root the enemy has within your life. Let us start with these repentance prayers right now. And all I want you to do is agree and say amen to them. And then when it comes to the point of the deliverance prayers, that you just receive what I am praying over your life to see the enemy. And remember, God is going to surround you with these angels to outnumber, to outclass, to outmatch every demonic spirit that would be against you. Let us repent before the Lord. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we now approach your throne in a time of great need, in a time of extreme emergency. Father, as you've already know, we have had demons attacking us from the outside influences and also possibly from the inside of our being. And we know why they are in our life. And we or our ancestors, whatever they have done, those things that have done that have not been happy within your sight. Lord, we choose to repent of this activity and sin before you today. Lord, where we have transgressed against both you and all of your basic laws and commandments with the sins that we have personally committed against you, we are sorry, Lord. Father, we first want to say that we are truly sorry. We are very sorry on behalf of our ancestors, on behalf of our own offenses against you. There is no excuse for the kind of behavior that we or our family have exhibited over the years. But Father, we now want to take a strong stand. We do not want any part of this kind of evil or wicked lifestyles or these things following our lives. We know now 
Lord, that you are the only hope and our only salvation to be able to be delivered from all these demonic bondages that may be oppressing us today. We ask that you please have mercy upon our souls and that you would please forgive us for all the sins and atrocities that we have personally committed against you and also those of our family. Lord, that under the blood that we are cleansed, the only Son of God that comes to cleanse us. Lord, today we are cleansed because of your blood. Lord, if there has been any involvement in sex fornication, unnatural or unholy sexed acts or thoughts, Lord, we pray today that you would forgive us. Lord, any use of any kinds of pornography, any past adulterous affairs and activities, all of our past thefts and covetousness, all of our envy and jealousy that we have ever shown against anyone, and all of our lying and deceit that we have been involved in before, all of our pride, our impatience, our hate, our rage, our anger that we have ever shown or manifested over the years, all of our involvement in any such type of occult art such as witchcraft, incantation of demons spirits, tarot cards, sorcery, astrology or palm readings or any of the alike, all of the times that we have personally cursed you Lord and prayed to other false gods for the times that we have not loved you and not obeyed your word or your commandments to one agree or to another. Lord I pray today in the name of Jesus Christ we repent of this right now. Father We now know that without a shadow of the doubt, that all of the above practices were evil, shocking sins and abominations in your sight. Therefore, we are sorry for doing these very things against you. And Father, we know that your son, Jesus Christ, has died for all of our sins. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we now ask that you please forgive us for every evil single one of these sins and trespasses and transgressions lord that we have personally committed against you let the blood of the most holy son jesus christ completely wash away every ounce of stench every ounce of each one of these thin sins that have been committed against you today father you tell us in your word that if we are willing to confess our sins and to agree to repent that you will be fully forgive us for all of our sins and cleanse us from our unrighteousness father we now ask that you please forgive us for all of our sins that we have personally committed to you And through the blood of Jesus Christ that we are personally covered and forgiven by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We now believe that all of our sins have been completely forgiven and completely washed by the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. And right now we're going to do the renouncing part. So Father, we now want to agree to also renounce every single one of the above sins. Because Lord, you have our word that we will never ever attempt to go back into any area having to do with the occult, any area having to do with sexual fornication or any involvement in any type type of drug or use or whatsoever. Father, in Jesus' name, we now officially renounce every single one of the above sins and any those that come to our minds or transgressions that have been committed against you. Lord, any one that those or has offended or abused us in the past also, Lord, Lord, that you will give us the grace to forgive those evil things things that were done in your sight, Lord. However, we choose not to hold on to any unforgiveness towards them today. Father, we choose with our own feelings, Lord, and our own free will to fully forgive them for what they did to us. Judgment is yours, Lord, and the judgment will now fall into your hands and not ours. Lord, hold, we choose to not hold any hate or animosity towards those people. We ask that you please have mercy on our souls as you'll also have mercy upon those that have offended us in any shape or form. We now fully forgive them for what they have 
have done to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we now believe that all of our sins, transgressions and abominations against you have been fully forgiven by your shed blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Father, in Jesus' name, we now ask that you fully break the legal rights of all these demons. We now ask that you completely break and completely completely sever every single one of these legal rights going back to the third and the fourth and beyond generations right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any involvement, any involvement with our generations before we ask for forgiveness and we renounce those things and uplift that curse today in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we now fully break and fully sever each one of these legal rights, Father. We repeat it in the name of Jesus. We now command that every single inch and every single part of this legal right on this generational line and on ours be completely broken, completely severed and completely demolished in the name of our Lord and Jesus Christ. Right now we pray in the name of Jesus. We also pray right now as we are preparing to cast out these demons. Lord, that you have now broken all the legal rights. Lord, of the demons on the above prayers that we have prayed and agreed with right now as we come into that place. Father, your word tells us that you will go before us and make the crooked places straight, that you shall break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of irons according to Isaiah 45 verse 2. Father, these demons have kept us prisoner long enough. And we now ask that you go before us and make this crooked path totally straight again. That you would break the bars that have been holding us captive over all of these years. And we now ask that you completely cut and completely sever the cords of these wicked and evil spirits today in the name of Jesus Christ. In Deuteronomy 33 verse 27 it says, We'll thrust out the enemy from before you, we'll say destroy. Father, we now ask ask that you anoint us from the head to the foot with your anointing, with your power and with your authority to take these demons head on. We have authority told us in your word according to Mark 16 verse 15 in my name they shall cast out demons and it is given even to the early apostles according to Mark 6 verse 7 it says and power over unclean spirits and they will cast out many demons father your word tells us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and any tongue that rises against us we shall condemn for this is the heritage of the service of the Lord and their righteousness is from me. Isaiah 54 verse 17. We ask right now that all authority is being given unto us to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy that nothing by enemies shall hurt us according to Luke 10 verse 19. And we thank you also that through your word it says in Psalm 44 verse 5 it says through you we will push down our enemies. Through your name, we shall trample those who rise up against us. Father, now is the time. Now is the time to drive this enemy out of our lives once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, your word tells us that the sword of the Holy Spirit is your word. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word be our sword. Father, we repeat, let your word be our sword today in the name of our Lord and Savior and Deliverer Jesus Christ. We now are speaking to every single demon that is on the outside of them right now listening and every single demon that may also be on the inside of them right now. Demons in the name of Jesus Christ, we now come against each and every one of you. We know that you have been there in their lives and causing such havoc in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we now plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every inch of the person listening right now over their spirit. We now plead the blood of Jesus over every inch of their souls. We now plead the blood of Jesus over every inch of their bodies. We now plead the blood of Jesus over every inch 
inch of their entire house or vehicle wherever they are right now. Demons, the word of God is now our sword. We repeat the word of God is now our swords and we are taking up our sword which is the word of our God, which is the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we are now coming against each and every one of you, whether you be on the outside of them or whether you be on the inside of them. Demons, all of your legal rights have now been completely and totally broken, completely, totally demolished, completely and totally severed. We repeat, all of your legal rights have now been completely broken over them. We command you right now to stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ that you would manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you would send your warrior angels with flaming swords to force those wicked spirits, those foul demons to stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the power of the Holy Spirit would force them and cause them to manifest right now in the name of Jesus. I command you, you will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ and manifest yourself right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you right now, devil. Devil, your time is up. You will have to go right now in the name of Jesus. I repeat, you will have to go right now in the name of Jesus to every single demon who is living and operating on the inside of them. We are now coming against each and every one of you. We plead the blood of our Lord and Master Jesus Christ against each and every one of you. I repeat, we are now pleading the blood of Jesus Christ against each and every one of you. Demons in the name of Jesus Christ, I now command all of you to come out of them right now and to leave them and of their houses and you will never ever come back again. I repeat, every single one of you that may be on the inside or the outside, we come against you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would come and leave their bodies you would leave their souls. You would leave their entire house or their vehicles wherever they are immediately right now. And you will go now back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We repeat that you will go now in the name of Jesus Christ to every single demon who may be attacking them also from the outside or who have been living in their houses as a result of the legal rights that have now been broken already through our prayers of repentance and renouncing of our Lord to our Lord Jesus Christ right now. Therefore, devil, we are now coming against each demon and foul spirit, every host spirit to you. We command right now the legal rights are totally broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Not one of you has any legal right to be able to stay attached to them in any way, shape or form, you will all now have to go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Demons, in the name of Jesus, I now plead the blood of Jesus against each and every one of you. I repeat, I now plead the blood of Jesus Christ against each and every one of you. Demons, in the name of Jesus Christ, I now command you to leave them and their house and you are never, ever coming back to them again. I repeat, you are never, ever coming back to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Go now in the name of Jesus. I repeat, go now in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And do not ever come back into their lives or into their houses ever again. Father, we have full faith and believe that you have now driven out those demons out of their bodies, out of their souls, out of their houses, out of their lives, for good in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demon that is still manifesting, I command you, come out of them and go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of infirmity inside of your body, I command you to manifest 
manifest yourself right now and you will go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus that they may be loosened that they may be well that they may be healed in the name of Jesus Christ I come against that spirit of death upon their life right now in the name of Jesus you will come out of them you will leave them right now and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus father we have faith we have full faith in you and belief that you have now driven out every demon every foul spirit has left their bodies every spirit of infirmity has left their bodies and their souls or their houses right now in the name of Jesus Christ father we ask that you protect all of us listening and our families from this moment on and that you would surround our houses our area with a hedge of protection a hedge of angels a hedge of your holy ghost fire to surround us also father to be all the glory and we give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor that is due to your name holy father that you would send your holy spirit right now to touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of of their feet Lord that you would fill every void of every demon that has left their bodies today in the name of Jesus Christ you would fill them and touch them from the top of their head Lord with the Holy Ghost fire right now revive your people right now in the name of Jesus for all glory belongs to you all honor belongs to you father we also ask that you would take complete control over our lives from this moment on that you would lead us into your perfect will for each person's life. Father, guide us by your Holy Spirit into the direction and path that you would want us to take within this life. Our lives are no longer ours. Therefore, we now belong to you and you alone in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I pray right now that the anointing of the Holy Spirit would fill each person, fill them with your love, your joy, your peace, all the nine aspects of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Lord, you would fill them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that you'd also impart unto them any of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit as the Holy Spirit bears witness, as the Holy Spirit brings and decides right now, touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now in the name of Jesus we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this particular deliverance prayer, we encourage you to do it more than once. Do it more than once if needed be until those demons have left and you feel so light and you feel so at peace that you know that God is working on your side. And don't forget, as I travel to the nations and if you know that I'm coming to your nation, I encourage you to come and visit us to encourage to partake of the revival meetings that you can get revived to take that revival back to your churches, back to your family also. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.